Hey everybody, if you watched my last video, I talked about spending a little bit of time in Nashville, Tennessee. Stay tuned, I want to talk a little bit more about that. This is Rick, also known as Duke City Devil Dog. Today is the 10th of May 2022. I'm actually in Cheyenne, Wyoming now. I am on one of our at one of our facilities here in Cheyenne. I'll talk about that in another video I'm gonna I'm gonna film today. Uh, but this one I wanted to follow up a little bit about uh, my experience in Nashville. If you watch my last video, I was doing uh, 34 in Nashville and I wanted to to film that talk a little bit about that uh, Since then I've got a little bit of feedback from some other drivers who spent some time there And I just wanted to talk a little bit about what I did while I was there and give you an idea if you uh, if you're like me uh, and drive part of driving is Is um, Experiencing things Nashville may be a good place to stop to 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 stop so I spent like I said a 34-hour reset in Nashville I parked at the TA off of I believe first Street right downtown right by uh, right by the football field down there um, and uh, uh, just about a mile and a quarter mile and a half from Broadway which is different than Music Row. Uh, Music Row is a little bit farther, uh, is a little bit farther away. That's where a lot of the the the, um, uh, the recording studios are are uh, the famous Bluebird cafes down there. But there's a ton of music off of Broadway right there, not far from the uh, from uh, the TA down there. So. That's what I want to talk about a little bit and uh, in, in how I sort of went about that. Um, so once I found out there was a good place to park close to there, uh, I thought originally that I was going to uh, park and stay at one of our, at our drop yard that's a little bit farther away, but there were no facilities there. But when I found out about the TA, um, I, uh, I decided I was going to go there. Now, when I read the reviews about it, one of the things a lot of people said is that the parking goes really fast and it's best if you reserve a space. So I reserved a space for two days. It cost me about 44 bucks. That included tax for, for the two days. Um, that said, I had gotten there early enough on the first day that there were parking spots available. But if you plan on going there, and I would really watch the, um, the paid parking availability as you get you know as you go get closer to Nashville and if that starts to disappear then I would think about reserving a place if you're gonna get there early enough you might be able to find a free place if there's still a bunch of places that are that are available in the paid parking um, then you can uh, you can go check and if there's no there's no uh, free parking then go get the, uh, the get the paid parking they do have security they will check to make sure that you paid if you pay if you parked in paid parking and uh, so so uh, so just just so you know now it is close enough to walk uh, down to Broadway a mile and a half but I didn't do that now one of the things that some of my viewers shared with me because I made mention in the last video that it is only it's less than a quarter of a mile to the stadium or whatever, the football stadium uh, I think it's Nissan uh, Nissan Field or Nissan Stadium. Uh, that's where the Titans play. And uh, but one of the things that they, they, you know, I said it's really close. It'd be cool to park here and to walk over there and go check out a game. But what some of my viewers mentioned to me, and I did a little bit of research, is that they actually don't allow truck parking at that TA um, starting late Saturday before a Sunday home game there. So they they sell all that parking to four wheelers, and um, uh, I don't agree with it. None of the drivers that I read uh, that posted agree with it, but that's the way it is. So uh, that said, 
for me, I'm going to be lucky that then I, I'll, I'd go with my other plan and I'd go park over uh, over at our drop lot and then take an, an Uber or or, uh, or a different way to get over there to the field if I do that in the future. Um, again, that said, one of the things I asked when I got to the TA is how safe was it to walk from there to Broadway? Um, and they said, well, if it's light, it's relatively safe. But if it's dark, you know, I'd be careful. So I just took Ubers back and forth. It read me about uh, seven, seven, eight dollars, not including the tip uh, each way. So about twenty dollars a day, um, you know, to get back and forth. So that's not too bad, you know. To, to you know, even though it's a short trip, um, I was able to take that, and 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 it made it a little bit easier. Uh, there's a lot to do down there, uh, down off of Broadway. A uh, uh, couple things that I was really interested in is I wanted to go see the Country Music Hall of Fame and Museum. Uh, I did get to go see that. I, I honestly, uh, I think it ran me um, just to see the museum. They've got three different tours you can take, uh, parts of that. I just wanted to see the museum and the Hall of Fame. Uh, you can go tour one of the music studios that, you know, the iconic music studios in there. Uh, there's another tour for a place that, that back in the day and still does print all these, you know, uh, posters and stuff like that. It's, you know, but I just decided just to do the basic tour. It cost me about 28 bucks, um, and, uh, and, and it was well worth it. I could have actually, um, it's a self-guided tour on that one. I could have spent a lot more time there and I probably will go back I, I enjoyed it that much and there's still more that I'd like to see um, there's a couple other there's a few other uh, uh, museums and Hall of Fames down there the uh, National or the National um, uh, Musicians Hall of Fame is down there uh, I think the Johnny Cash Museum's down there the uh, Gwen Campbell Museum's down there all of that uh, as far as music, uh, you, uh, well, before you get to music, in that um, there's also the the state the uh, arena where the Nashville Predators, the NHL hockey team, play down there. So you can go you can go uh, see a hockey game. Um, as far as like music and food and everything, there's tons of options for for both down there. All you do when you're walking up and down. Uh, Broadway is you hear music all the bands are, almost all the stages are right next to the to the door and right next you know right next to a window with a window open a big window open uh, in each one and uh, you know you, all you hear is music and, and the, the the people who play there are trying to establish themselves for the most part uh, some of them trying to get no, get discovered some of them that's just what they do they, they move there and they play and uh, and uh, you can find music all times during the day there. Some places you're going to find more than one band playing at once because they have multi levels, including sometimes outdoor stages or outdoor uh, uh, areas on uh, you know on the roof and stuff like that. And they have more bands up there. Um, a lot of different people have. Um, uh, bars named after them down there whether they own them or they just lend their name to them everybody from um, uh, Kid Rock to uh, Blake Shelton Miranda Lambert which I thought was really interesting if you know Blake Shelton Miranda Lambert they're like not right next to toward each other but there's there uh, uh, I think there's one or two places uh, different bars between those two uh, but you got that you, uh, Luke Bryan's got one uh, Jason Aldean's got one. Um, they said there's just there's a bunch down there to go check out. Uh, John Rich has one. Um, so, and then there's some that are just absolutely iconic, historic clubs down there. Um, if you're gonna drink now, again, you gotta follow the rules. I'm gonna always tell you, if you're gonna drink and you drive a truck, you need to follow the rules. You need to take you know, uh, once you once you finish that last drink, you got to take it to at least a ten-hour break. That's what the law says. So, 
you know, just to let you know, because I'm not going to, but if you're going to have, if you're going to drink down there, whatever, um, then absolutely you should take an Uber back to, to, to your truck or to wherever you're staying. Uh, the drinks are a little expensive, I will tell you. I mean, for a beer, for, for a draft beer, you're going to pay like eight bucks at least. Now, that said, there's a reason behind that, you know. They don't charge cover charges. I didn't see any place cover, charging a cover charge. And these places have to pay the bands. I mean, so they, they, pay, they charge more for the alcohol. Okay, that's fine. That's great. You know, go, you, know you, can, you can do that. Um, um, you know, uh, the food was pretty good overall. Um, I went the first day and had uh, Hattie B's uh, Nashville Hot Chicken. That was great. Uh, some of the, the the bar food was okay. Uh, it was all reasonably priced, I would say. Um, you can get a lot of different souvenirs while you're there. Uh, just a lot of good stuff to do. You know, a lot of good stuff to explore and get that sort of natural experience. Um, so, you know, uh, that's just sort of what I would suggest. I did go to one place that was sort of ridiculous. I, there was a place called the Nashville Famous Milkshake. I think that's what it's called, Nashville Famous Milkshakes or something like that. And I thought, oh, this is going to be good. I can could, I could deal with a milkshake. I went in there, and the milkshakes were almost $20 a piece, like seventeen ninety five plus tax. And um, just really ridiculous. I didn't even didn't even stay and, and, and get one. It was just, you know. But there were a lot of people going in and, and getting them. So, you know, however you feel. Um, lots of souvenirs, different places. You can get tons of souvenirs. There's souvenir shops down there. There's uh, Western wear shops down there. Um, just you name it, you can find stuff down there. There are some hotels down 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 in that area if you want to stay in a hotel. I don't know what the rates are. I didn't bother to look. Uh, one other thing too about getting back and forth or getting around there, um, these little motor two wheel motor scooters. Or uh, you know, um, I don't even know, know what you call them, but you, um, uh, I don't want to say motor scooters, but they're they're the ones that you stand on, and um, they're battery powered, and uh, you can you can get those all over them. They're all over the place, and I think you can get them with your with, through the Lyft app for like five dollars is what they were charging. For. And I don't know how for how long, but I saw people riding those, and I'm guessing that some people rode those from down in Broadway back to TA because I saw a bunch around TA so just to let you know so there's different things to do it's a great time uh, again just make sure that you're following the rules that you got to follow I'm going to always say that as a truck driver um, you know you're not supposed to have alcohol in your truck so you, you should know that if you're a truck driver that can get you you know losing your license um, you know whether you're drinking it or not you're not supposed to have it and and uh, that's why I always think it's really ridiculous that every truck stop tends to have alcohol on it and you're not supposed to to have it on your truck so uh, but if you do drink again you got to take that 10 hour at least that 10 hour break after you finish your last one that's what the rule says and don't forget the threshold for DUI in a commercial motor vehicle is a lot lower uh, than, than for a regular vehicle. So you don't want to take a chance of losing your license, your CDL. You worked hard for it and you probably paid a lot for it um, just because you make a bad decision. But that said, go out and have some fun. Uh, next time I go down there, again, I'm going to go back, back down there and, and check out uh, some more places. I'd love to go see a hockey game or, or a football game or... Take a little an Uber a little bit farther, get down to Music Row and check out some of that, cause, cause I think that would be a, a whole lot of fun. But anyway, that was the rest of my experience down there in, in Nashville. Um, uh, it was a little sad if you're if you're a country music fan. Uh, this I went there the day, or um, a couple days after. Uh, the Judds were, were inducted in the Country Music Hall of Fame, and if you know about Naomi Judd passing away, um, uh, it was a little sad, uh, but uh, but uh, uh, they had some, uh, uh, 
they had a, a nice tribute there for her. Um, what else? I'm trying to think of. Oh, <laughs> uh, there at the the shops right there around the uh, around the Country Music Hall of Fame. If you if you want to buy some musical instruments, they had some great musical instruments. Everything from ukuleles to really expensive guitars to I think they had one guitar uh, that was an Eric Clapton model guitar for about four thousand um, dollars harmonic cassettes uh, all sorts of stuff like that so pretty cool like I said I, I, I enjoyed it and, and, I'd, and I'd like to go back and check it out again so anyway uh, I'm gonna try to share this as I, when I stop other places uh, in the next video I'm gonna tell you why I'm in Cheyenne and what's going on as far as that but I do want to share with you some other information as well so uh, again look at the vid the, the video that's the second video that's going to get posted today and we'll talk a little bit about that for right now though this is Rick also known as Duke City Double Dog I'm in Cheyenne Wyoming I drive for Creek Carry Corporation and I'm psyched I will talk to you in a few